you meeting Dolph? And how was that situation? How did, how did, how did that come about? It's so crazy that I was here. I was in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I was at Richard House. And um, the mind just DM'd me. And he was like, hey. I'm like, hey. I couldn't even believe it. I'm like, damn, this dog that just hit me up. Mm -hmm. And he was just like, um, and it's like, it was a lot of messages like going like back and forth, like Dow trying to get in contact with you, Dow trying. I'm like, damn. So I shot one of them for my number. Mm. I say about five seconds later, he called me. He just was laughing. And I'm like, damn, what's up, bro? Like, he like, what's up? He like, bro, like, you funny, bro. And then I'm like, damn, that what's up? And he was like, um, I'm trying to change your life. And I'm like, damn, like, what the fuck this nigga trying to do? Like, he would not never say. Mm. He just was like, bro, I'm trying to change your life. Where you at? I'm like, I'm in the A. And he was like, damn. He just calmed to saying, damn. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what's up? Like, cause I'm excited. I'm like, man, what's up, what's up? Mm -hmm. He like, um, send, me, send me over your information, and um, I'm going to send you a flight to come back to Memphis. Mm -hmm. Send me a first class flight that morning. Mm -hmm. And that's when we shot the major video. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. Uh, so, so what was that experience like? You know, first meeting him. I ain't gonna lie, he a different type of person. When I first met him, like, he like, he don't really, he don't really talk a lot like this. Mm -hmm. Like when I first met him, it's like, he was just like the man had me sitting in a car for about two hours. He was at his auntie house mm -hmm. in the hood in Cascade. Yeah. I'm sitting, I'm like, damn, what is nigga at? like? All the videos that they do, like, it's taking three, four hours for a video. So mm -hmm. I'm sitting in the car waiting on him. He finally come out and he like, just tell me to jump in the car. Mm -hmm. He tell his brother to get in the back seat, so tell me to jump in the front. And it's like, we pull off and he just started telling me, like he first played the, the song. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, damn, I really didn't like the song really, but I didn't <laughs> want to say by the song, yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And uh, he was just like, yeah, bro, I just want you to do some shit, like at the beginning and this and that. And, I was like, all right, cool. And we did this shit. Mm -hmm. After the music video dropped, how did that, how did that change your life? Man, psh, dramatically. Because before then, I had some money, but I didn't have nothing. I didn't even have a car. Mm -hmm. I was staying in South Memphis with my grandma. So it was like, I had, some, I had some bread to be able to buy a car, but I was trying to get something nice and shit. Like, mm -hmm. I, went, I really fucked up. Like, I would drive my baby mama car and shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So really, it really changed my life. It really showed, like, it gave me a bigger, a way bigger platform. Really gave, like, let other fans be able to know who I am. And it's just like, he really blessed me, for real. It was like a, it just, it's saying unreal. It, it's, it don't even seem real sometimes, mm -hmm. like, that he changed my life like that off a of video. Yeah. And I know a lot of this shit didn't just come from him. It came from me hustling and doing what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. But by him just, like giving me that platform and just letting me be there, it's like it, it opened up a lot of doors. Absolutely. 